Hey, Steve Zick here. Welcome back to Pokesu channel or the Guitar Ladder System, depending on where you might be seeing this. I want to give a few more tips on working cycle one, which is such a great cycle. The thing about cycle one is once you get cycle one going, uh, you want to kind of push it a little bit. And uh, you also want to, you know, add some other things like you want to add like the shading, which uh, I think in my high tail, I call this uh, cycle two. It's also cycle one with shading, but you add that shading with the major 13 flat five. Start to get that sound in your head. Okay. And when you discover something that works like that, you want to kind of work it like minor seven to the major 13 flat five and just work that all over the fretboard so you get to know that in, in your head. And maybe experiment with, you know, other chords. Okay. And uh, the thing is, you can also begin to add the bass to cycle one. same finger for the bass movement as the chord you're going to. So like here, then you add the second finger because that gets you to the next chord. And you have to kind of wait on that bass a little bit, kind of, kind of wait, you know. It's going to sound a little disjointed at first until you get used to it. At first you might be kind of doing it like this. And then you have to kind of wait practice making it swing okay and I have a video about adding the bass to this which I think is on the YouTube as well you can go cycle one add bass and that will come up but uh, another thing you want to do with cycle one is you want to push it a little bit in terms of speed of the chord kind of snapping those chords so as a you know as opposed to kind of really taking your time and just you want to play each chord one time but try to kind of get through it fast. Now this is not something that you need to do overnight, but it, it teaches you how to kind of snap your finger. So uh, you can maybe start with about maybe like this speed here and then try to try to put, now I'm not very warmed up so I can't do it at full speed right now. But you, you get the point, right? It takes me about an hour to warm up. The more technique you have, the more it take longer it takes you to warm up. But anyway, so that's what you want to do. You want to, also you can add the diminish to this, like move the diminish in minor thirds. See? And then maybe go to the major 13 flat five. Go to a minor nine, major 13 flat five, maybe go to this ninth form. The whole idea behind the guitar ladder system is it's going to, it's going to naturally lead you into improvisation, but there's so much you can do. Cycle one is a very powerful cycle, so you want to work that one. One, uh, you know, when you're first learning it, you might be going a little slower and kind of doing it like this. But use your fingers and try to snap through it a little quicker, actually forming the shape of the next chord in the air. See, I'm actually snapping before you get there. Okay, you can always just work that much. You can start a little slower if you want, but the goal is to get that nice snap and get through it a little quicker because you're building technique, which by the way is also going to carry over for single notes, okay? And then like I said, and also depending on your level of playing, um, you can also, you know, take the similar idea of the major seven to diminish to minor seven and do it on this set of strings, okay? So that's just the major seven form to diminish to minor. So uh, there's a lot you can do with cycle one. And like I said, experiment with that minor seven to uh, major 13 flat five. You can also then kind of start resolving that. And, uh, but the main thing is don't overthink the guitar ladder system. Just kind of work on the material. Let it soak into your subconscious mind because it's, it's the subconscious mind is what's going to really piece together a lot of the, of the pieces of the puzzle and help you learn about tension and resolution. You're not going to get that from being too analytical about this, okay? So uh, again, when you work cycle one, try to, try to work towards getting that snap. Okay. Also add the diminished, moving in minor thirds. Okay. 
is becomes a natural inversion of itself uh, every minor third. Now here I'm going to add the seven sharp, five sharp, nine. And once you've been working the guitar system for a while, go back to any studies you've already done and uh, try to change them a little bit. You know, now if you're just starting off with the guitar system, don't worry about that. But it's really good. And, and even with cycle one, though, if, I mean, if once you're used to cycle one and you're messing with it, go ahead and see, you know, see what you can do to change it. That's the whole idea. So uh, I just wanted to offer those tips. So again, you, you work cycle one, and then you add, begin to add the shading, okay? Get that shading in there, and then move the, the diminished in minor thirds. I might just put this on YouTube, too, as... Uh, no, I'm just kind of messing around here. But that's the whole idea, okay? So you want to work on cycle one, try to get it, try to snap it, kind of one, uh, you know, play each chord one time. Try to get through that kind of quick. Don't worry about it. If it takes a while, you might start off just playing it kind of slow like this, okay? But that's a good thing to practice, all right? Okay, and I appreciate everybody's business. And uh, I am a dealer for the Laura Arch Tops and the Recording King Flat Tops. I've been with the Music Link longer than any other dealer. I buy direct from the company, not not through distributors like most companies. I actually buy direct from the national sales manager, Brian Jones. He's a friend of mine. So uh, if you need a lower arch top uh, or a recording king, hit me up. And by the way, right now I have a special. If you buy the, buy, I have a great LH700 in stock. And if you buy that, you're going to get the whole guitar ladder system for free. That's a great LH700. All right, folks, take care. Bye-bye.